Let's have a go at finding the integral of the arc cosine or the inverse cosine of x with respect to x. Now if you have watched my videos before, I encourage you to develop your own system or method of finding any integral. The steps I like to go through is first of all, see if we can simplify the integrand. The integrand being the function that we are integrating. In this case there's not much to simplify. So the next thing is to look for an obvious substitution and uh, in this case there isn't one. So the third step is to see if we can integrate this function by parts or use a method of integration by parts. And I understand that it's not so obvious for this function because there appears to be only one function in here. But remember that uh, f of x equals 1 is also a valid function. So the formula for integration by parts is the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So in this case, let's let u of x equal the inverse or the arc cosine of x. So that's u. Let's let dv equal dx. So the derivative du dx is equal to, we found in a previous video that the derivative of the arc cosine of x is equal to negative of 1 on the square root of 1 minus x squared. And I'll link that video on the top right hand corner here. So separating the differentials we have du is equal to negative 1 on the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. dv integrates simply to x. So substituting these into the formula for integration by parts we get the integral of arc cos of x dx equals arc cos of x by x minus the integral of x by negative 1 on the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. So if we neaten the right hand side up a little bit we get x by the arc cos of x. Negative comes out the front to become a positive when it's multiplied by the other negative of the integral of 1, sorry x on the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. So we have a secondary integral here which we have to now solve and in this case we can use a substitution because the numerator here is related to the derivative of the denominator. So in this case let's choose another letter. Let's let w equals 1 minus x squared. Then the derivative of w, so dw dx equals negative 2 x. So bring down the power minus the minus 1 from the power. And we write this as dw equals negative 2x dx. And that implies that x dx equals negative a half dw. So using these as substitutions, the integral of x on the square root of 1 minus x squared dx becomes the integral of x dx becomes negative a half dw divided by the square root of w. The negative half can come out the front. So we have the integral of dw on the square root of w which equals negative a half of w to the power of negative a half dw. And this now we can just use the power formula where we increase the power by 1, so the half stays out the front, increase the power by 1, which gives us positive a half, and divide by the new power, a half. So the half on the top cancels with the half on the bottom, and the result of this integral is negative w to the power of a half, which equals negative square root of w, which equals negative the square root of 1 minus x squared once we perform the back substitution. So now we substitute this into the original integral and we get the integral of arc cos of x dx is equal to 
x by the arc cosine of x minus the square root of 1 minus x squared and because this is an indefinite integral we always include an integration constant plus c. So let's box our final answer and add this to our table of integrals. And before we finish, note that the domain of this integral is for x between negative 1 and 1. Okay, so that'll do it for this video. If it has helped you, please like and subscribe, share it with your study mates, make my channel famous. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comments below, I'll help you to the best of my ability. There's a PayPal link in the description if you'd like to make a small donation, I'd really appreciate that. Best of luck with your math studies, and I'll see you on the next video.